Yes, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Football Heritage TV. I'm Sava. This is Henry Wright from Henry Wright TV. Henry, um, it wasn't pretty, but Tottenham Hotspur are three points off the top of the table going in to the January transfer window. Dragusin has agreed personal terms. It's all going very well at our club right now, isn't it? Yeah, I mean... Looking on the surface, we're, we're three points off top. We're one point off top four. We've got a centre-back agreed. We're winning games. I think we've won three of our last five. We've beaten, you know, tough teams at home, like say, Everton and Bournemouth. The performances haven't been, I'd say, they haven't been as what the results, like what the scoreline suggests. Yeah. However, it's a results business. We've won games and we are, like you said, only a few points off top. Get a few players in Jan, get Madison back, get Van der Ven back, Benton Core fully fit, bring in a couple of players, and then who knows what's going to happen in the second half of the season. Yeah, I mean, just quickly, before we get to, to the game, um, let's be fair, Ange and the players have so far surpassed expectations. I don't think anybody at the beginning of August would have sat here and said, you know what, we're going to lose Harry Kane and we're going to be third uh, sorry, three points off the top after 20 games. One point behind the Gunners who were in a title race last year. Yeah. Uh, one point behind City. Right, they've got a game in hand. But um, th they've all got to take the credit, right? Even the players that we might not like and yeah. want to leave, they've all got to be given so much credit. Yeah, I agree, mate. Look, if, if I said to you, beginning of the season, we'd only be a few points off top, you, you'd bite my hand off. There's been a few yeah. performances where I'm like, I'm, I'm not impressed with that. Overall, though, the majority of the season so far has been very, very good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. We've lost yep. arguably the greatest player we've had in Premier League history. A lot of people would argue. And we're scoring goals relentlessly. I think we're the fourth or fifth highest scorers in the league. We're flying right now. We're in a good spot. Just get this January window out. This January window is so important for the remainder of this season. Yep. And then... Hopefully, we can we can be saying that we're in the Europa League or the Champions League next season. Yeah, uh, absolutely, absolutely, mate. And and you know what? Yeah, you're right. We're the third highest scorers in the league. Um, obviously, we've let in goals. You would expect that with the injuries to Van de Ven and Romero and not having a backup. Uh, but let's look at today's game. Um, it was an interesting one, wasn't it? Because yeah. if if I had said to you at half time that we're going to be three 0 up with 10 minutes to go, you would have laughed, right? Because we we were, let's call it what it is. We weren't good. <laughs> yeah. We were clinical, but we were not good today, but got the job done, right? Is that a fair assessment? Yeah. I mean, there was times where I was sitting here thinking, when we were 1-0 up, I was thinking, Bournemouth are going to get back. They're going to come back into this game. You, you could see it a mile away. Credit where credit's due. The players dug in, scored three goals, had a fantastic... Um, spell of about 15 minutes where we just we, we were creating chances and kind of nullified Bournemouth. The thing that worries me though is when we come up against bigger teams, we're conceding a lot of shots. Mm -hmm. Like Bournemouth mm -hmm. had 24 shots today, double the amount we did. Everton had, I think, 18. I think Brighton had 15 or 16. When you come up in the bigger games, the Villas, the Uniteds, the Cities, the Arsenals, the Liverpools, those teams take those chances. Yeah. So yep. at the moment, you know, it's 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 it, we're getting away of it to a degree, and we are being very clinical. But in the bigger games, mate, I like that United game. If Rashford is on it, just on it for a lip, for for a split second, it's in the back of the net. Yeah, and I know he's out yeah, of form at the moment, but that's the difference. Yeah, that's true. We are, look, we are giving up a lot of shots, and I, I think look, we just touched upon this on your channel that. Um, yes, we can put some of that down to oh well, there's no Romero and Van der Ven at the back. But for me, I think a lot of it is what's going on in front of them. Um, would it be fair to say the last three or four games, definitely, Ange Ball hasn't really been there, if you want. Um, but it's showing that we can win ugly, that we can ride our luck and, and, and get away with a win because that was a poor performance against Everton, got the win. Poor performance against Forest, got the win. Again today, Um signs that we're resilient, right? This is signs that we are resilient. I'm not saying we can get away with this week in, week out, but the resilience is definitely there, right? Yeah, yeah. There's there's, there's a show of... We're showing character a little bit to kind of dig in and, and, and get results out. I didn't think we were particularly great in for the first kind of 50 minutes against Forest. However, dug in, got the result. We weren't great against Everton. 
by any stretch of the imagination. However, Duggan got the result today. Yeah. Kind of very, very similar. But there is kind of we, we're kind of showing character that there. You know, you're right. There is a resilient resilience in this team, and we can get the job done. I just feel that at times players in games like especially today go missing. Brendan Johnson for 80 minutes. I don't actually know what he did. But, but the, the problem is people say, oh, but he got the assist for the third goal. Or he got the assist for the second goal. I look at um, Son today was was nowhere near his best, but clinical. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. The, the, the best player in the park, you said it on my fan cam by Country Mile, was, was you, Doggy, for us. Mm. For us, he definitely, was, yeah. yeah. Was, was very, very, very good. Yeah. I mean, look, it, it, listen, um, am I going to go back and watch that game again? No, it, it, it wasn't a classic. Were we good on the ball? No. But the difference between us and them today was being clinical in front of goal. Uh, we didn't have loads of chances, but what we did have, um, Papa Sar, lovely finish. Son, again, wasn't his greatest game, but what a lovely finish. It's that yeah. moment of quality. And then Richarlison sweeping home for the third. Um, it felt strange at the end being 3-0 up before they got their goal because I thought, we don't deserve this. But you know what? It's about time we had a little bit of luck, Henry, because... Yeah, it's about we'll time things went our way. Yeah, the injuries, we we touched upon this earlier, but the injuries, something is wrong, right? Some Something must be wrong because I've never seen injuries getting picked up quite like this. I know Manu and Chelsea well, it, did earlier in the though? season. Is it, but... is it Dyer? Is it is it I... the intensity? Is it Ange Ball? I, I is think it training it's... like what? How intense is the training? Because for all of them to keep dropping like flies seems very strange. Yeah, when when, you, when Liverpool and City play very attacking system, same as Arsenal, and I think I think Liverpool have had um, eight injuries less than us. Yeah, like we're already we're already nearly at. I think we're nearly at 16 or 18 injuries already this season. Yeah, and only 20 games gone. It's like one a game if you if you average it like that. Yeah, I think injuries and suspensions were over 20. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, crazy. it's 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 madness. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, I want to bring up the um I want to bring up the table, Henry. Um so for everyone to to have a look at. Um look, if we if we look there mate, um you would have you would have bitten off my hand if I'd offered you this the day Harry Kane was sold. Uh, you would have uh, forget Harry Kane. You would have bitten my hand off if I had said day one of the season. This is where we're going to be after twenty games. We're going to be one point off of Arsenal, who are on a title challenge last year, and three points off Liverpool, albeit with a game in hand. You would have. That's a fabulous start to the season, isn't it? Uh, to, to, I, I, would, yeah. I would say it's very good, but it's fabulous, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. But when you look at um, when you look at where we are in, in the league table, the league t the league table tells you one thing. But the fact that teams are above us, but they're in they're in like grabbing distance. Mm -hmm. Arsenal have got tough games coming up. They've got to play Liverpool in the FA Cup and in the league as well. Yep. Man City, I expect them to win this league. They've got a game yep. in hand. They win that game in hand, providing Liverpool were to lose, they would go top. But I think Liverpool will win. It's a two horse race. And then it will be between us, Arsenal and Villa. I think we'll and maybe even West Ham if they win their game. Yeah, they're they're slowly somehow mate putting their name in the hat. They so, are. So who's going to get fifth or sixth, uh, fifth, sixth, they and fourth? Are. And you got to remember fifth this season, providing the English teams do well, we'll get mm -hmm. Champions League. Yeah, like right now, yeah. the season was to finish. We could be in the Champions League like that. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and and I think one of the key things when you look at this, if we look down the league for a moment, the yeah. gap we've created between us and eight that doesn't get Europe, or it could, but normally doesn't, that nine point buffer gives us a wonderful, wonderful uh, bit of breathing space. I'm not saying we let up, but it gives us breathing space to know that we should be in Europe next year, right? We yeah. From this position. Um, for I agree with you, Henry. I think Man City will win the league. I think them and Liverpool will pull away. But the fact that Spurs have put themselves in a conversation for third, fourth, at the moment, you could say for first or second. But you know me, Henry. I've always said, get to 29, 30 games. Let's see who's there when you get to the business end of the season. Let's see. Let's see who's there. But this is fabulous, right? This is this is more than I reckon even Poster Coglu would have imagined when he took the job. Yeah, and considering we've lost five games this season, and in three of those games, we probably should have won. 
Wolves, we lost at the death, like yep. two goals in injury time. Yeah. Um, who's the other game we lost? West Ham. I, I mean, they had 15 minutes of great football, but we were probably the better team over the course of 70, uh, 70, 80 minutes. Villa, probably one of the, I think that one of the best halves of the season we've seen from a, from a Tottenham, but then the second half, Emery just took control. Yep. Arsenal and, and City, we've gone to and got a draw. We've beaten yep. Liverpool. We've beaten Man United. The game where which we all want to forget about is the only game we, which we completely capitulate was that Chelsea game. Yeah. Like we, we're yeah, sitting yeah. here 20 games in on 39 points. I think that's our third or fourth, third or fourth best tally after 20 games. It, it, would, it, it wouldn't surprise me. It, it wouldn't surprise me. Look, so I just want to say that I don't want to listen. It's New Year's Eve. People want to get, get to their f- friends and their family and, and whatever. But for me, uh, listen, I am critical at times. I like to dissect things, but mm. I can't sit here right now and say I'm not delighted with the first half of the season. Doesn't mean I've enjoyed every game. Doesn't mean I don't think there's anything we need to do. But from where he picked us up to where we are now, it's been an absolute brilliant, yeah. brilliant platform for us to kick on as a football club. I'm not talking about winning league titles now, but to kick on, to get some good players in and really start to challenge the big boys on a regular basis. Um Henry, uh, any last words you want to say before we before we wrap up? This tomorrow is the start of the January transfer window, and it's going to be hectic. If we, are, I imagine we have Draguski getting wrapped up in forty eight hours. I want to see him think starting so. before that. I want to see him starting in that Burnley game. But this window is probably for me the biggest window in terms of we've got a real good chance of getting top four this year. With only one game a week before the FA Cup starts. Yep. Go and go and get the business done early. That's exactly yep. what I want to get across. Go and get the business done early. Have all of our business done before the 15th of Jan. Yep. So then we've got time to, you know, relationships to build, Postcoglu to get his football across. And then by the end of Jan, hopefully have Madison back and Van der Ven back and then have a good rest of the season. If we don't yep. and wait until, like we always do, to the 31st of Jan, I just don't see the point. Like, yeah, it's great getting Poro in, but you've already wasted a month. Yeah. Well, it looks like, look, so far we've seen that we're in talks and, and apparently um, uh, personal terms have been agreed. Uh, apparently they're like two million apart on fit on fee, which you, a deal's not going to collapse on two million. So we'll get that over the line. Listen, Henry, it's been great. Thank you so much um, yeah, no, for, for joining me. Uh, everybody else out there. Uh, Please like, please subscribe. Go and subscribe to Henry Wright TV as well. His link will be in the bio. Um, and listen, whatever you do tonight, uh, be safe. Don't drink and drive. Have fun. And um, hopefully the new year brings whatever you wanted to. Happy New Year, Henry, to you and yours. Yeah, you too. And man. everybody else, take care. And as always, come, come on, Spurs. you Spurs. <laughs>